In part two, we're going to add the service reference to Lesson 8 within an ASP.NET application. And we're going to create a grid view row data bound method to call the service. So open Windows Explorer, navigate to where you've saved Lesson 4, Control C, Control V, rename it to Lesson 8 WS. In Visual Studio, file, open, website. Navigate to Lesson 8 WS and open. Let's modify our namespaces. Let's run it and test it. Let's open our default ASPX file. Scroll down to here. Let's put on row data bound be equal let's add our service reference click let's add the best C sharp program in the world dot com slash compstat dot svc click go let's change this to less than 8 ws let's expand the reference and click on the configuration dot svc info and let's navigate here and let's take out that namespace and close it and save it yes let's go back into our default.aspx file real quick copy this so we make sure we get it correct then open our c sharp file go down to the end let's create that function method protected void just gonna do object sender comma grid grid view row event args code if e dot row dot row type
and we'll call the service. And lastly, let's add that link to the to the ASP page. Equal A. Made a typo here, you need to use the brackets instead of the parentheses. Let's run it. 